entertainmentbuddha.com Hi everyone, this is Anna Fibo for entertainmentbuddha.com and I am going to go and preview some kalimba for you. Let's Play has been hard at work on this platforming game. It is set to be released on December 17th for Xbox One and it's going to retail for $9.99, which isn't bad for an arcade game. And it will be released for PC at a later time in 2015. So we're going to go ahead and get started on this. So as you can see here, um, it gives you a spiritual journey. That's going to be your single player. A campaign so to speak and then you're gonna have your companion journey which is gonna be your co-op gameplay today I'm just gonna do some solo campaign and just so you can get a feel for what's going on hello human and as you can see it's gonna give you a little intro to the story character in a video game like you even know what that is so I'm just gonna stop talking so you can see. So when you skip my parts, that's kind of disrespecting my whole existence, okay? Okay, let's have some backstory. Pay attention to Hobear. Mm. Never and nowhere, there was this island called Kalimba where a shaman woman watched over a totem pole as powerful as it was tall. And it was way tall. The people of so, I mean, just for the sake to, you know, kind of speed this up, because I don't want to spend too much time on the story, and you can kind of read what's going on. Harmony looks like. Even though he doesn't like you to go through it evil so fast. From the black death he doesn't want to be disrespected. Determined to mess with the positive vibes surrounding the island. He was made of pure evil. Black darkness evil. <laughs> the evil shaman off the good shaman and scattered her totems all over the island. But in the video game universe, at least, death is not the end. The shaman lady's spirit magically lived on. And now she travels. Of course, because it's a video game, so no one really dies forever, because you can just respawn. Everything there would be. All right, so here is going to be the first level. Shaman lady, still in her spirit form, quickly learned she could possess the small. So as you can see, there are two little totems, and they are two different colors, and they will be controlled together. So as you can see, whatever one does at the bottom, one does at the top. And if you notice over here, there's a little opening and then there's black. My little purple guy has to be able to jump over that. My green guy doesn't have to worry about it, that because there's there's nothing at the top. But going back now, the green guy now has that opening. So I have to be very careful in how I am controlling them because it's not always the same you know, uh, level. So like right here, now I have to line these up, but there's that little, little rock in the way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep my little green guy going and then I bring my little purple guy over, but then I bring my green guy over. So he keeps going and then I'm able to line them up and the walls open up, but you see now they are uneven. So I can, I can go back or I can continue playing on so if I try to continue playing on, what's going to happen is 
I'm, I'm being brave right now by by doing this, but he didn't die. So I was able to sink them up again. And if you notice, my little green guy is standing on a very thin pillar, and then purple guy is on a wider one. So again, you just have to be very conscious of how you are controlling them. Because again, you could just die by making one teeny tiny little mistake. So here they are just bouncing around. I'm collecting my little orbs and having a little fun letting them bounce around. So here I just need to time it. And here I need to do the same thing. I need to set them up so I can go ahead and get that open and voila, we've reached the end. And with those orbs, they are also like, you know, you're setting a goal, so to speak. If you collect all of them, your little totem is gold. You've, you've collected the max orb, so yay, good for you. But if you die, your deaths are then taken away from the amount of orbs. So you could potentially collect all, but then die. So I'm sure at some point during this gameplay I will die so you'll be able to to see exactly what I'm talking about so here so now what it wants me to do here is hit the X button to change their colors because if I don't and I try to go through their colors this is what happens you die so you just have to be careful and make sure that they are the colors that they need to be so and sometimes it's gonna come on you pretty quick when you need to change the colors so you just again you just always want to be careful because you know you you want to collect the orbs you want to get 100% completion on those so your little totems could be gold. So, there you kind of have to think fast. Here. And in reality, I was not... Oops, you see what happened? I switched way too fast. I was not paying attention. And I need to pay attention to that ghost because I almost, almost, you know, ruined it for myself there. But it's just to give you an idea of that. So now I have to get that lined up there so I can jump. And I'm just jumping for the sake of jumping. Here. moving at a very slow pace. I normally just like to breeze through this, but again, I don't feel like dying a whole lot, so we're just gonna take time going through these levels. So you see, I collected 69, but because I died twice, two, what, two was deducted from that total, so what I've actually ended with is 67. But I've still got a full triangle, so you can still collect as many of the orbs, pickups as you can, and you can reach that maximum, but then uh, you know, from however many deaths you have, it could bring it down and you still have an opportunity to get a full triangle. Totem coding awaits those. So again, as, as you continue on, different things are going to happen through the level. So here again, I just have to be careful because it's that. And now, my little dudes are 
are stacked together so now I can hit X and I can switch them around to be able to go through their respective colors. Ooh, that was close. And I can go ahead and do a double jump which will then, you know, throw my little purple dude over there. Oops. See? I jumped way too soon. That's what I get for not paying attention. So, here. Quick. Double jump. I'm really quick, so I can get through there. Alright, so, here. This is a bonus level. The score in one of the other rooms has just been beat. <laughs> so you just collect these colored ones and... After you collect a certain amount, then you'll be able to... I guess the more, oh, the more you collect. That was really close. Readings, I guess a higher score. You're progressive. But yeah. You're better than some players, and what does that make you feel? I feel pretty great. Thanks for asking, Mr. Bear Guy. I already forgot his name. All right, so here, I have to be careful because there's a little opening there. Alright. Alright. So if you're wondering why I'm doing so well, it's because I've already played this a few times and for a preview, you would rather see me do well than play bad. So <laughs> that right there was a few hours of practice. So yeah, but that little drop there, I can't tell you how many times I died doing that only because I I was paying attention, but my fingers were not reacting fast enough, and that's what's really cool about this game, is that these moments will happen so fast, and you don't have a moment to react, or, or you wouldn't, or you can't react as fast as you'd like to. So, you know, good job on, on Let's Play for really making me use my brain <laughs> during certain parts of this game. So. Oh. Uh -uh. Do this together. Yep, I remember now what I have to do. This was another level that, even in that little part, I had difficulty because I'm like, oh, how, how do I do that? How do I make that happen? Ooh. And those ghosts are so fast. So this one, was a bit tricky for me because I kept doing this other kind of maneuver that was quite pointless and again it, it just you kind of have to use your brain a little bit in order to get through these levels successfully. Pickups, what 
whatever you want to call them. Oh, you see? And I did that playing this level not too long ago. I just was not paying attention. Oh, you see? Did it again. But that's that's the fun of it. You know, it's not a platforming game if you don't have these little moments where you're just like, oh man, you know, you should have used my brain. So, bouncey bounce. Almost to the end here. And we're just gonna skip through this. It's got his little sunglasses on. This was a strange case. And the other cool thing about this too is that with with each level that you complete, it'll tell you how many you know pickups you've collected. But it's also gonna give you your time. So if if you're into speed running and you want to test your ability to get through some of these levels, it'll give you your total time at the end, which is which is pretty cool. This level was always fun because you get to slide and levels like this always add such a wonderful element of, I don't know, it's just like a little adrenaline rush that you get because you're sliding so fast and you know, you, you're having to react a lot quicker than you would normally like to. You see, and that's what happens. You think you've got it, then something like that happens. Completely messes with your psyche. Did it again, because I need to continue doing my double jump. And if you notice the, the little green guy's face, he's like, Ooh, I'm sliding on this ice. I'm gonna make it. So if you see, you notice at the top, I collected 62 pickups, but my time for that level was a minute and 50, was a minute 54. So if I wanted to go back and do this level and better my time, I could do that. I could potentially get better in that level but if i go back to the beginning so the first one was two minutes and 36 seconds so again for all you speedrunners out there this is going to be a really cool game to test your abilities with stinking ghost guys Ah, you see? It's going way too fast there. Oh. As long as I stay up here, those walls will stay up. But the minute that I leave, that's what happens. Now, this part was also very fun because now I'm upside down. But if I hit X, then I'm not really upside down, so to speak. Right side up. I don't know. Right, so I'm gonna do that. 
I'm not thinking there. So again, with, with this here, it just, you're kind of just forced to really think about what you're doing. Oh, see? Get too cocky and then you die. See, and with this level, I wasn't too concerned about picking up the uh, pickups orbs only because I just really wanted to get through this level. Oh, I thought I had. to the end. Ah! And you get to fill the triangle up there. This new ability was pretty fun, she thought. It was as if the game was now more... beginning of the level is always a little tricky because you don't start off side by side. And here, you kind of really have to time this because if not... See, that's what I get for trying to go after those little orbs and mm, I shouldn't really do that. Kind of just gonna. I did that. Oh, see, I'm not thinking about this right. Because what I'm thinking I want to do is what I'm doing, and it's not. It's not happening. That's what I needed to do. And of course I get it done, and what happens? Ooh. I think messed that up. Stay right there for now. Ooh, cut it real close. Oh man. Oh, not thinking. See, this is what happens. I think like I'm doing really good, and then, boom, not doing as good as I thought I was. So, maybe because that's what I needed to do. Oh, I did that way too soon, you guys. Don't take direction from me when playing this game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys are going to do so much better than, than I will. See, I've died 11 times. But it... Ooh, you see, I keep doing that. Hmm... Oh, so Jesus. Mm. 
Done. Might have taken me a little bit longer. But again, this level always gives me a little bit of trouble. Full triangle there again. I, I, in that level, the first time that I that I played it, I actually died about fifty times. So at that point, any pickups that I had collected were completely gone. All right, so this is going to be one of the first bosses that you battle. There are going to be more than these uh, few levels that I've previewed for you. It's progressively uh, gonna get harder. I mean, it's not gonna be as simple as this. Oops, almost died there. As you can see, I'm not even concerned about. Co Oops, you see what happened? The minute that I said that I wasn't concerned about them orbs. Yeah. Yeah. I almost died there again. It's just easier to change it when those little ones are just coming than trying to jump over them. Alright. This snake. Alright. Let the fun begin. You gotta get away from that. this because you gotta time this right to be able to hit those orange spots on the back all right oh i probably shouldn't have gotten this close over here but i'm a rebel what can i say i like to live on the edge Oh, you see, I hit X way too soon there. Luckily, it's not gonna make you start from the beginning. You don't get checkpoints, as you can see, but it's gonna have you start from a recent spot that you died, which is pretty cool, because I can only imagine how tough it's gonna be to have to go through a lot of these things again. So of course, the first time playing this boss guy, I had no idea what I was doing. I had no idea that I had to time this perfect uh, in order to defeat him. Over so, here. Oh. No, I'm not good there. That was really close there. Let's time this. Boom. Alright. There 
there you go. Again, this is just going to be the first of many, many bosses that you will have to fight. And as you can see, this is just the first tier of Kalimba. So it's just going to go through progressive stages and they will get harder. But I really hope that you guys go and pick out, uh, you know, pick up this game when it comes out. Because again, for $10... For the platforming game that it is, it's it's going to be a lot of fun. Speedrunners are going to have a blast with this. If if that's something that I was into, then that's something that I would be doing. I would try to better my score. Again, more people are going to be better than I am playing this. But at ten dollars on you know the Xbox One, it's a cool game. There's not a lot of thought that goes into it and it, it's like a stress reliever kind of game so I would definitely suggest picking this up when it comes out uh, so yeah uh, I hope you enjoyed this little preview I had a blast playing it so yeah stay tuned to entertainmentbuddha.com for uh, more previews of Kalimba entertainmentbuddha.com